Obviously, basketball brought Fran and I together. There's been this history of the sport in our life. And then we had children. Connor was born, and I didn't have to do anything to encourage him. I promise I was not interested in trying to really push that on anybody. And then we had Patrick. They are 20 months apart, and he was completely different. Connor was incredibly cerebral, really competitive. Patrick was a little more loosey-goosey. Going back to the days at Siena, Connor and I would go every day after school to practice. He was more locked into the basketball stuff. I liked basketball and I thought it was fun, but I was also like wearing Batman costumes, Superman costumes, and then I would play like one on zero, full court against myself, like off to the side while they were <laughs> practicing and stuff like that. That took a little longer for Patrick to get there. And uh, he got there. If we're playing in a game and there's a scoreboard, we're gonna try to win. I was a freshman in high school when I got the call. Patrick um, was doing individual workouts with Duez Henderson, who played at Iowa. He said, I'm a little concerned because we've been doing these workouts now for a number of weeks but he's getting so tired in the first five minutes or so that we have to sit down and then he just isn't really recovering. My immediate reaction was that there was something wrong with his heart. She took me to all these different doctor's appointments. I had an ultrasound that took like 90 minutes and I didn't really know why. She did the best that she could without scaring me. I didn't even know where your thyroid was. I didn't know anything about it, but we came home from that and were told that he had this tumor on his thyroid and that was what was causing the, the pushing on the airway, which was likely causing the shortness of breath and the fatigue. We didn't know at that time whether it was malignant or benign. My staff, I think, really stepped up. The players wore shirts that they designed at the Big Ten tournament. You know, in short order, we had a, we had a game plan. The surgery happened, of course, on the first day that Iowa was playing in the NCAA tournament for the first time in a number of years. I remember my dad being there that day, but I was pretty heavily sedated throughout the morning. He left to go coach the game because that was what Patrick wanted him to do. I went with him to the game and everybody was there supporting and there was definitely an extra bit of motivation, but I think you know, that was definitely something that was weighing on everyone's mind. Solid victory for Coach Martin and the Tennessee Volunteers. It's been an incredibly emotional day starting at 5 a.m. You know, watching my son get surgery. The next morning was his birthday. The following day on the 21st of March was the day that his surgeon called and said, well, we didn't really get the news we wanted. You know, that's one of those things that I don't think any parent ever wants to have to go through. It was awful. I'm certain that he thought he was going to die. Once we knew the tumor was malignant, the surgeon had gotten most of the tumor out. But once it was malignant, they had to go back in and do a second surgery to get the rest of his thyroid and some more lymph nodes out of his neck. It was difficult to watch him have to deal with what he was having to deal with. It was extremely hard because, I mean, he's my best friend and I didn't really know what to do. When we were together, I was thinking about it, so it did bother me and it did upset me. And, you know, I just was wanting him to be okay. You know, there's no other, no other way to put it. The treatment for thyroid cancer is radioactive iodine. And he drank this stuff and then he's radioactive where you're supposed to be six feet away from him. So Fran and the other kids went to a hotel and we figured out that we would put Patrick in our basement guest room and I would just deliver the food and come and find him whenever, you know, if I thought he needed something. We just tried to wait and then you do a scan and then that's what tells you whether your body's pretty clean or not and fortunately his was. I have to just thank my mom for everything that she did. She was a superhero through all that. At this point, basketball had become really, really important to him. Really, we just wanted to focus on basketball, and that's what made him happy. Playing the game is obviously extremely therapeutic. It helped me gather a sense of normalcy. 
and just help me better process what I was going through. Patrick was starting to become a good player and he was way different than Connor. Connor was incredibly cerebral, really competitive. Patrick was a little more goosey-goosey. Having my brother as a teammate in high school was amazing. When I was a senior and he was a sophomore, we won the state championship together. The time we had together in high school, you know, as brothers, we wanted to play on the same team and play together our whole lives. He was so excited for that opportunity to go play with Connor. When Connor was coming out of high school, he was reading up on some players that played for their dads, and, you know, maybe I should look elsewhere and thought about that. And it's not, I want to play in the Big Ten. I want to play for you. I'm so grateful that they're having this opportunity to play together for their dad and to be able to see them on the court. It really has been an unbelievable feeling for me to see both Patrick and Connor every day. I think it's been great for Margaret. She gets a little more stressed about it. I'm not gonna say that it's all wonderful for me. I really am tortured by it most of the time. And I'm not perfect at it. I mean, there have been a few times where I've overstepped with Fran and pointed out that perhaps he should have played Connor and Patrick a little bit more minutes. There's a certain element of fairness that has to take place with playing time and what they earn. And it's also a life lesson. You're not gonna get something handed to you. You have to earn it. Obviously, him being the coach, he has to get on both of us multiple times, and we have our fair share of disagreements. And I think that sometimes I probably react to him in a way that other players wouldn't just because he's my dad. And I feel like, you know, maybe maybe it's only natural for me to, to, to do that. I think Patrick is better in that sense. I don't think anybody on our team would say that he treats Connor and I any different than anybody. If we screw up, we're gonna get yelled at in film just as much as anybody else would. If we screw something up on the court, we're gonna get in just as much trouble. I think he's done a good job of balancing dad and coach. It's been a much easier transition than I think a lot of people would have imagined. I get phone calls all the time from coaches whose sons are gonna play for them, and I spoke to those who went through it. John Beeline summed it up the best. He said, forget about everything. You get to see your sons every day, and that's really all that matters.